The verdict being announced right now in Steve Bannon's contempt of Congress trial for defying a subpoena from the January 6th committee. Let's go to Pete Williams, who has the latest for us. Pete, what's the verdict? The verdict is guilty on both counts. Steve Bannon was charged with two counts of uh, contempt of Congress, one for refusing to testify before the January 6th committee and a second count for refusing to provide documents to the January 6th committee. And this jury has just returned guilty verdicts on both counts. Now, we're waiting to find out what the judge says about a pending motion that had been made by Bannon's lawyers, who said that the case should be dismissed or a judgment of acquittal should be entered because he was never able to question in court any members of the January 6th committee or the chairman, Benny Thompson. Now, it was the judge himself, Carl Nichols, who earlier ruled that it wasn't appropriate for those people to be called into court, partly because the Constitution shields them from being questioned in any other place about what they do in Congress. That's what's known as the Constitution speech or debate clause. And secondly, because the government said it wasn't necessary to know what they, what they said or did when it was the entire Congress who voted to find a ban in contempt. So that's the last uh, thing that we're waiting to find out whether th that's the only other shoe that has to drop here. Because in theory, Chris, even though the jury has returned a guilty verdict, in theory, the judge could still enter an order to acquit. He could say that as a legal matter, uh, the government never um, met the threshold or that Bannon wasn't able to fully exercise his constitutional rights of being able to confront his accusers in court if the members of Congress weren't required to be in court to answer questions. So that's the only other potential thing that could happen here. The judge could, in theory, still dismiss the case or, or enter a judgment of acquittal despite the jury's verdict. That's a very unusual thing. It very seldom happens, but it could happen. And until the judge answers that question, we won't be able to say exactly how this ends. Now, assuming that the guilty verdicts do stand, uh, the the uh, statute here is, is not very often used. It's been probably uh, more than half a century since anybody was ever ordered to go to uh, serve any time in jail for contempt of Congress. But the statute does appear to have a mandatory minimum of at least 30 days in jail and a maximum of up to a year in jail. Now, it's very unlikely that Steve Bannon would be sentenced to serve that long because it was, it's a first offense it would probably be somewhat less than that. And, of course, we won't know the sentence today. The way it works in federal court is the jury reaches its verdict, and then there is a pre-sentence investigation, and so the judge will schedule sentencing for another date in the future. And, of course, obviously, Bannon's lawyers are going to appeal. Uh, they've made many motions throughout this case to uh, bolster the defense, and the judge has said those things were off limits. For example... Uh, they wanted to be able to use the defense that Steve Bannon, in declining to uh, comply with the January 6th committee's subpoena, was acting on the advice of his lawyer, that they were acting in uh, conformance with what they thought were Justice Department policies that uh, say that people who work for an administration are immune from subpoenas from Congress. Uh, the, the judge said, no, you can't argue either one of those two things. Uh, uh, other federal courts, uh, courts of appeal, have ruled out the... Uh, the, I was only following the advice of my lawyer defense. And then this whole question about whether members of Congress could be called, too. So there'll be undoubtedly an appeal filed here. And I would suspect that uh, th that will proceed. And they will undoubtedly ask the judge to uh, not to order him to serve any time until that appeal is exhausted. I'm so also, sorry, guilty on, on both counts. Uh, and uh, the sentencing has been set now, the judge says, for October 21st. So that would suggest to me that the judge is going to deny uh, this motion to acquit or going to set aside the verdict, and, and, and this will stick.